Hi, I wanted to create a short little video here on anybody that's using a USB record player that wanted to convert their records to MP3s, waves, or put them on a CD. So today I'm going to use um, the software that came with the USB record player, uh, Audacity, and also use iTunes to convert it to an mp3 um, so in the software here we will import uh, audio file that and we'll open that up once that's open go to the beginning of the song, you can play it. Now if this was uh, a WAV file coming from your record player, you might have a lot of space in the beginning of your audio file and a lot of space at the end of your audio file. So first you're going to want to trim the beginning and the end of your track and I'm just going to show you how to do that just left click on your wave and drag and then let go and then you can either hit the delete key or you can go to edit delete and we'll do the same thing for the end of your track left click select edit, delete. Now your file is ready for exporting to a wave. So we will go to file, export as wave. It's already on wave. And we'll just name that test. We'll hit save and then on this newer newer software that has this other window here just hit OK and then it'll export. Um, I know that there is a way that you can uh, export right to mp3 uh, without using iTunes but I just rather use uh, iTunes for that part. So, once that wave is done, we can uh, minimize that, and then we will go to iTunes. Now right here you can see, this is the file that I started with, which was 45 megs and I converted it to a wave which is 42 megs and we're going to want to convert that to an mp3 so if you want you can just drag your wave to iTunes there it is and then we're going to convert it to an mp3 just by right clicking and go to convert mp3 version now it's going to create an mp3 version right above your file so this one's the wave and this one's the mp3 and if you want you can just drag the mp3 to your desktop or folder as you can see, the MP3 is only 3.9 megs compared to the 42 megs. So I usually like to convert all mine to MP3s if I want to put it on an iPod. I save a lot of space. Um, so once that's done, in iTunes you can just click drag 
and then drag it to your iPod which will be under devices over here 